Now, this is going to start off pretty familiar for most of you. You still got the same mad dash to the rocket launcher like normal. Everyone's blowing up and stuff like that. Um, if you're if you remember the original pretty well, then the initial ordinance and uh, and some of the random as well is going to feel pretty familiar uh, to the original weapon spawns from uh, uh, from Halo 3. Now, I'm just going to kind of slowly trek my way over to the uh, sniper tower here. Hopefully you're not getting too sick from my camera movement. Now you'll probably notice some uh, some gameplay refinements that we've made uh, to the map as I'm coming through here. And, whoa, someone just blew up. Oh, here we go. What's going to... We got a sniper around here. No, three on one. Ouch. Okay. So you guys probably remember this barricade over here. This is a little tricky one, but uh, this has actually been slightly redesigned um, for better readability on the gaps uh, along the edges. So if you're one of those jerks that likes to hang out cloaked with a sniper rifle, this is kind of a tough one because I don't really like you very much. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're, we wanted to stay as true to the original as possible. So that's one of the small things we did here. Um, zoom over here. You probably noticed already a few of the crates that we've got, like this one here. And if you're sort of an MLG aficionado, then uh, yeah, you probably recognize these. Um, we sort of took inspiration from that. And we really wanted to make sure that the level, level of player mobility um, stayed pretty high with the changes going from Halo 3 to Halo 4. So. Uh, we we're playing with that. Now I'll give you guys a shot of this awesome new backdrop that we got. Looks a little different if you remember the original. Now we're going to make a way into the sword room here. And okay, someone's blown up. All right. He's running away from someone. Now, one of the first things you'll notice. The red team takes over. We've got this nice little murder hole over here, right by conveniently where the sword spawns in. So this is this is a cool new addition that we put in. I'm just going to zoom down here a little bit and open up to the next spot. So you notice here we expanded this hallway and uh, add a little bit of cover and. The biggest change is obviously we've got this uh, new grab lift. Whoop, that was convenient. And we'll come back up here. So basically what this has allowed us to do is open this up for some really intense cat and mouse gameplay. Um, either that or just some jerkwad that's cloaked and probably stole the sniper rifle and the shotgun and is just waiting in here to murder everyone. <laughs> All right, I want you on my team. Um, so lastly, with, uh, with Pitfall, if, uh, if you prefer it in sort of its original glory, um, all you got to do is open up Forge, and we give you all the pieces in the palette to customize your heart's content. So that is Pitfall. <laughs> I feel weird that you can't see me. I know you already have a heart.